See, today's topic is the calculation of HLB values. <coughs> See, today's topic is calculation of HLB value. See, <clears throat> there are three different types of formulas are there for calculating the HLB value of the surfactants. See, the first one is uh, the first one is HLB is equals to E divided by five. See, what is this E? E indicates the percentage of percentage weight of ethylene oxide. E indicates percentage of percentage weight of ethylene oxide. For which kind of for which kind of compounds we can use this formula means, or for which kind of surfactant means the surfactants which contain which contains polyoxyethylene group, the surfactants which contains polyoxyethylene group as a hydrophilic regions. For those kind of surfactants we can use HLB is equals to E divided by five. So what are those? Polyoxyethylene containing surfactants, nothing but polyethylene glycol, mirch, next one is bridge, next one is polyxomer. For these four kinds of surfactants, we can use the formula HLB is equals to E by 5. Next formula is HLB is equals to E plus P divided by 5. What is this P? E nothing but percentage of ethylene oxide. Next, what is this P? Nothing but percentage weight of polyhydric alcohol groups. See, this is P nothing but percentage weight of polyhydric alcohol group. See, for what kind of compounds we can use this formula means for the materials like beeswax and lanolin. For the materials like beeswax and lano and lanolin, we can use the formula HLB is equals to E plus P by 5. Why we are using this formula for these compounds means for the beeswax and lanolin, we cannot get the saponification value. There, we are unable to get the saponification number for the beeswax and lanolin. Hence, we can use the formula E plus P divided by 5. Next, third formula is there. That is HLP is equals to 20, 1 minus S, 1 minus S divided by a see here s yes, nothing but saponification number a yeah, nothing but acid number s yes, nothing but saponification number of the ester a yeah, nothing but acid number of the fatty acid see for what kind of surfactant we can use this one means <coughs> the surfactant which contains ester group the surfactants which contains ester group for those Kind of surfactants we can use this formula. Examples is span and twin. This formula can be used for calculating the HLB value of span and twin. See, this is very much important. This they have asked in the previous year question paper. Which <coughs> formula can be used for the calculating the HLB value of span and twin? Next one is what is this saponification number? See, saponification majorly applicable for the ester bond containing compounds. What is this saponification number? Nothing but see how much mg, how much mg of NaOH means how much mg of sodium hydroxide is needed to neutralize the ester group present in 1 gram of fat. See, for example, you can consider this is a 1 gram of fat. In this one gram of fat, how many ester groups are there? One, two, three ester groups are there. <clears throat> three ester groups are there. Then how many NaOH we people need in order to neutralize three ester means three NaOH should be needed. See, that's why the saponification of this one gram of compound is we can simply call as three. 
nothing but free NaOH is required in order to neutralize the ester bond present in 1 gram of fat. Okay, this is about the saponification number. Majorly applicable for the ester group containing surfactants. Nothing but span and thin. Next one is acid value. Next one is acid value. See once, see once the any compound that contain fatty acids. See any compound that contain fatty acid. This is the structure of fatty acids. Any compound or any substance that contain fatty acids, free fatty acid, then <clears throat> acid value. We need to calculate the acid value. Means how much amount of KOH, potassium hydroxide, nothing but base required to neutralize the acid. <clears throat> See here formation of salt, salt and water. See what is the acid value, nothing but how much mg of KOH, nothing but base is required to neutralize the acidic groups, acidic groups present in 1 gram of 1 gram of fat. See for example, this is 1 gram of fat that contains one COH group. Then how many <coughs> KOH is needed? Only one KOH is needed. So like that acid value for this one is 1. So what is the importance of calculating this acid value? Nothing but see this acid is responsible for the irritation. So acids are responsible for the irritation property. Hence, we need to identify the how much amount of free acids are there in case of suppository base. So this is the application of this saponification number and acid value, especially present in case of spans and twins. This is about the different ca calculation of different HLB values for the different kind of surfactants.